Kelly of Angelina with the Lafayette Mom. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm so happy to be here. Of course, so we're talking about a pretty important topic. Summer is here. A lot of families might be cooling off with the pool. We're talking about swim safety for the kiddos. Why is it so important that we stay vig vigilant with this? So, I mean, you know, the temperatures are rising. People are going to be in the pools more now than ever. And it's really important that we are aware of the dangers of drowning and inciting swim safety for our kids. So we recently um, did a post featuring Maisie's mission because May was um, swim safety awareness. And this is a story of a Canyana family who lost their 17 month old to a drowning accident in their home pool. And they are bringing awareness to other Acadiana families and around the country because we are actually third in the state for drowning. I mean, third in the country for drowning, our, our state as a whole. So really important that we know the signs and the dangers, how to prevent it. And we also have a full swim lesson guide on Lafayette Mom. Start getting those kids the swim lessons that they need. Yeah. What is some drowning prevention that families should know about? So number one, I think a lot of people don't realize that you can start them as infants. So that's called ISR, it's Infant Swim Rescue. And there are certain people who are certified in this. This is on our guide on Lafayette Mom. And it actually teaches children to go from laying flat, face down, to being able to flip over and float. Serious life-saving technique that they can learn at a very and then getting to progressive swim lessons where they start breathe properly, put their face in the water, flip, float, you know, get to the side, all of the things that they can learn to really save their life if ever needed. Yeah, and if you're out at the pool, what are some of the warning signs of drowning? How, what should parents kind of be on the lookout? So um, some things you may not even notice is like if they have a glassy look in their eyes or if their head is back and they're kind of staring off into space, if their hair is completely covering their face, you can't see them well. Um, there's also something, it looks like they're climbing a ladder. So if you see something sort of like this happening, um, and then any vertical position where they're not really kicking their leg or they're trying to paddle and they're getting anywhere, those are all signs that it could be a struggle. Yeah, this is all great information and we're almost out of time, but where can people go to learn more about drowning prevention and those swim lessons? So the LafayetteMom.com, we have a whole extensive guide and then information on signs of drowning and awareness. Angelina, thank you so much for your time and sharing this important topic with our viewers today. Thank you.